welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, I broke up with my boyfriend because he didn't want to get married. He's now engaged one year later. This scenario happens way more often than it should. And the main reason for this is people are not paying attention with what's going on in their relationship. If getting married is really important to you, then this needs to be something that you discuss within a certain time frame in your relationship. If your partner keeps shrugging it off, saying they're not ready, they don't want to get married, all the conversations that you hear in this type of relationship, it ends up being a problem where you just don't know what you're supposed to do. So you sit around and you hope for the best. This is the biggest mistake because you're not being true to yourself. You're, you're living in a partnership in a hopeful type of situation. When you're on the same page with your partner, you don't have all these questions. You really don't. And this is something that I've talked about in quite a few different shows that I've done. When even in the beginning stages of a new relationship, listen to what they say. Most people will tell you what they want within the first, like, say, five or six dates, kind of what they're looking for in a partnership. It doesn't mean you're going to have a long, drawn-out conversation about it, but it's kind of in there, especially if you're older, because you know what you want at this stage of the game, and you don't want to waste your time or their time if you're not on the same page. But what's happening, I'm finding now, is that people are really fed up dating. So they end up in situations where they're, they're hopeful that maybe something will transpire down the road. But they're not getting their needs met the way that they want them to be. So they're just sitting there hoping and holding on that maybe they'll get what they want. If you want something in your life in respect to anything, whether it's your job, whether it's going on a vacation, whether it's something that you're doing uh, as a, a hobby, you have expectations about what you want to happen within all of those things. Why in your relationship are you not following the same rule? Because if you're with somebody for a couple of years and there's no talk about marriage, you've been with them and this is uh, every day and you're really committed to each other or so you think you're committed to each other but there's no more discussion about moving forward into a marital scenario you're fooling yourself by thinking that it might happen because when somebody wants to get married and they want to have that commitment with each other it's usually discussed pretty strongly within the first year if it's not and you bring it up and they don't want to talk about it, they ignore it, they change the subject, the chances are that your, what you're looking for is not going to happen. So a lot of the times it's not necessarily that your partner doesn't want to get married. I'm sorry I'm not sugarcoating this here a bit because what happens is people need to understand this. The reason people go and get married after you break up with them you weren't the right person, but there were signs, there were flags, there was all sorts of signals floating around, but you were kind of like Mr. Miss or Mr. Right now because everything else wasn't being completely met as to maybe what they were looking for. This is why when you have the conversation about what you want for your future, you really need to listen to their answers. Because if they're getting married fairly quickly after you, first of all, I don't think that's super healthy because I still think even if you're in the wrong relationship and you break up, you need some time to figure out what you're looking for, take the lessons for what happened in that breakup before you move into another one. But saying that, sometimes you learn what you didn't have in that relationship and you find it quickly with someone else. So that can happen. And this is why a lot of the times your ex ends up getting married fairly quickly because they figured out what they want. Sometimes it's just a rebound or, I mean, 
but that's not for you to try and figure out. But what it is, is you're questioning why they married somebody, not you. The answer is because you weren't at that place together as a couple. You might have been good as a couple, but not great. And that's where you have to pay attention to not the fairy tale about getting married and all those things. You need to pay attention to what is actually transpiring as you progress in your relationship. If it's pretty much been the same since day one and you're not evolving into a higher place, that's your answer right there. But you have to be open-minded and pay close attention to what is happening. And a lot of people don't. They just think the next step after being together for two years is naturally going to be marriage, regardless of whether their partner has talked about it or not. This is not a good place to put yourself. You need to hear the words directly from them. If they're avoiding it at all costs, you need to say to yourself, this isn't the partner for me because they're not looking for a marriage or partnership in that respect. So please listen to all these things. And if your boyfriend or girlfriend gets married really quickly after you endings with them, well, they're probably going to have some things they have to figure out themselves. But the biggest thing is for you to figure out why you two didn't get married. And most of the time it's because it wasn't the relationship that you thought it was. So please pay attention to the red flags. Listen to what your partner says. See how you evolve as a couple. If it doesn't change much within the time frame you're together and everything's avoided discussing, you have your answer. So thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Studio today. Please subscribe. I love it when you do. And please leave your comments. I will be back next Wednesday with another topic for you. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.